hope everybody's doing great. It is Lee, and you are watching Beauty Over 70 with Lee. And you know what? It's been a while since I have done a Get Ready With Me. This is it. This is real life. Elf. I'm, everything I put on my face today, with the exception of my brushes, and I will be using a couple of eye brushes in L to do some drugstore products today. I wanted to do a full get ready with me. Everything is going on my I'm on my face with the exception of my skincare is going to be elf. So welcome to the channel. I hope you stay with me and see if we can transform this into something that looks a little bit more appealing. I'm going to pop this back. I didn't even bring a headband, so starting to see a little bit more gray come through. It's just about time here in a few weeks to go get some gray covered, ladies. So I have already done my skincare, cleansed my face, put on um, all of my serums and my moisturizer and everything like that. So everything is good to go. And I am going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, and I believe this is the pink. And it comes in a cap like this, and it's kind of the light, it's kind of the pink tone. Uh, and as you can see, I have dipped in there, and I'm going to be using this little brush, this little e.l.f. that has a brush and a little scooper on this end, so you can just dig in there. You don't have to get your fingers in it. So we're just going to be putting... The primer, I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can because it takes a lot of time to do a get ready with me. And as a content creator, know what I'm talking about. So um, we're just going to try to work and not talk so much. So I'm going to just pump that on there and spread it around. Now I have already, I did not have an e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow base. So that is one of the products that I put on prior when I did my serums and everything. So I use the um, Urban Decay is what I always use for my eyeshadow base. And I put that on. Now I'm going to put a little extra right here in this area. I didn't mean my upper lip, but the lines for being 75 years old. I'm going to put a little extra around my upper lip to help conceal those lines and fill in on those lines is what I was saying, ladies. It's quite a, quite a little chore when I have to go from my dressing closet when I have everything up there and then I film down here um, so that is all prime so I have to bag everything up and pack everything up and it's it's just the way it is the foundation I'm going to be using is the elf flawless satin uh, foundation and it's the medium coverage and I'm going to be using the 220 beige and this is what it looks like I'm going to be using the uh, 220 Beige as my shade that I hope this works okay. I have not tried this foundation, so you're going to watch the guinea pig, uh, see what happens with this foundation. It's supposed to be, it's flawless satin foundation, and it's medium coverage, and it does come... with. A, when I first got this, I kept trying to unscrew it, but it actually it just... As you can see, just pops off and it's a little pump, so you can pump it out. So, here we go. I'm going to squirt some out here and let's see what happens. And I also picked up an e.l.f. Um, sponge. And I dampened this. It's a silicone face sponge, and it's the green, and it's double-sided. And I picked this up to put this foundation for this um, 
a tutorial get ready with me today and I did dampen it. I put just a little bit of water on it and I squeezed it out and I blotted it with a towel up in my bathroom. And you can also use the e.l.f. setting spray to mist it if you need to. So I'm sure I'm going to need a little bit more than I put on there, but we're going to start with that. And I'm just going to pat and press. It's called stippling. Hope everybody's doing great. Had a wonderful holiday for my American friends and my other friends around the, the world. Plenty of food and it's summertime. It's really hot here. Oh, we're going to see how that does. I have my mirror, my magnification here propped up to try to get an angle so the top of it doesn't get in my camera lens. But if it does, it does, and it's what it is. So The sponge feels really great. It really does. It feels great. And I have almost almost not not a hundred percent but i have just about stopped using a brush to apply my foundation because of the streakiness that i get i do like the fact that a sponge or it's really hard to go back and forth and it's getting more and more difficult to see ladies it really is and i'm gonna have to break down and just have the cornea transplant in my eyes. That's all there is to it. It feels good. It doesn't feel sticky, tacky. It does. It feels like it's got okay coverage. Uh, okay coverage. My eyelashes, what I have, they're very sparse. What I have, and I need every single one I can get with these lashes and the brows. So they're so light, you can hardly see anything. So I'm going to use the um, the e.l.f. pencil that I use most of the time. I've showed this before. It's got a spoolie on this end, and it's got the retractable there. So I'm going to use this to put on some brows. So let's see what happens. It's getting more and more difficult to do brows. I'd like to have microblading done. We'll see how that goes down the road. Um... A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. It's just a personal preference, and I'm going to try to get my point. I have such hooded eyes, so if I relax my eye, once my eye relax, I try to get this exactly. I'm getting more and more shaky, as most of us are when we get a certain age. the steady hand that I used to do that I used to when I worked I mean I could just but you know what those used two days are gone right ladies <laughs> they're gone so we just have to work with what we got one of the little bite size eyeshadow palettes and it's called I love you a latte Speaking of a latte, if it wasn't so hot, I would like to have one. Maybe an iced latte. But it's I Love You a Latte, and it's the neutral tones. I'm going to start with the light shade right here, the very lightest shade. I'm going to start with that and do the wash with the big brush, the It Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to put a wash color all over. And I've had this brush for years, and I, I don't know what I would do without it. I'm going to dip in this shade right here and start a little bit of color and a contour with a little bit of the darker shade. This shade right here. This one, the next to the dark, is the one I'm going to dip into right there. And tap it. I 
I'm not going to do a heavy eye today. I'm going to keep it relatively neutral, as neutral as I can get it. Fluffer brush. Put a little bit there and drag it out and put a little bit here, just like that, toward the inner corner and kind of do a little um, inverted, like a little triangle. That's all I'm going to do today and bring it along the lash line there. Lighter shade again right in here. The very lightest shade that I've done the wash with right in there and along up here along the brow bone. Have an e.l.f. Um, liner pencil and like I said I have to be super careful so I'm going to line tight line my eyes with Flower Beauty Brownstone and that's what I'm going to tight line my eyes with. pencil in brownstone. I can see right now I think I'm going to have to stop and change my SD card, but right now with the e.l.f. mascara, the e.l.f. mascara, I picked this one up, and I normally don't use the e.l.f. mascara, but we're going to use it today, and that's the little brush that looks like. Okay, come in real close here and get as much mascara on here as we can. It's so much easier when I do my face when I'm upstairs in my closet with my dressing table. It is just makes a world of difference. And I am going to line a little bit under my eyes. I'm not going to put any mascara down here. I'm going to line just a little bit and then put a little mascara. I'm going to get in super close, as close as I can get, and see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to line halfway. I'm going to smudge with my little smudger, this little Morphe smudger brush that I'm going to smudge the bottom with. We have to make the funny faces to do our makeup, right ladies? <laughs> At least I do. Um, another coat of mascara, of the e.l.f. mascara. I can get a little bit more on here. Like I said, I need every lash I can get. I can't afford to lose a one. I'm going to use the, um, the e.l.f. contour palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here to do my to do my contour. So this shade to highlight, of course, and I'm going to use this shade right here to do my to do my contour with my light skin sigma i have a sigma contour brush this thing is awesome but i also have this um this rt um i think it's beauty techniques or something like that and this one is good too what i like about it it has the small end so you can get around the nose area so i think i'm going to use that today Stripe myself up here. Underneath these jaws, oh my goodness, they used to be up here and <laughs> everything falls down, does it not? I have a high forehead, so that's, I guess that's why I wear bangs. Hair cut short. Here while back, and um, I like it. It's easy to take care of. That's the thing. Easy to take care of. 
Okay, got that. And go down the center of my nose. Use this little tiny blush that I picked up. Um, stick. And it's called Dazzling Peony. Dazzling Peony. And it just it's just a stick and you just roll it up. That's pretty with this top, I think. I guess that's why I wore this top, put this top on today, because I um, I thought that would be pretty. That would be pretty. The dazzling peony and this tiny little thing. Uh, grab a blush brush and blend that and keep it high. Keep your blush high. Gravity pulls us down. Age pulls us down. These cheekbones... These used cheeks used to be up here, and now they're down here. So when you smile and you put your cheeks blush start in the apple like you used to, now when you, when you relax your face, it goes down here. So just keep it high. I just tap, tap, tap. That's what I do. So that's kind of pretty with this top. This top is really flamboyantly bright. And so that is that. And I'm going to do my lips, and then I'm going to put on some powder and do something to this hair and some jewelry. And I think I'm going to put on some um, concealer before I do... I'm going to put on concealer before I do my lips. And I'm going to use the e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer with the white cap. That's the concealer that I'm going to be using today. And I use, uh, let me see what color I use. I use the, the beige. It's the fair beige. And here, and more out here to kind of bring everything up. Concealer brush because I've had this thing for years and I don't know what you would I would do without you So don't ever wear out. <laughs> I've said that before and I just bring everything up And it kind of gives you a mini facelift At least it does for me Like I said in the comment section, let me know if you like e.l.f. Um, so many of the content creators are doing drugstore products, and I thought, well, I would just jump on, jump on board with that, something that you can pick up at Walmart or Walgreens or any drugstore. So, um, yeah, that feels really good. It feels, feels nice. I'm going to use, I'm going to do my lips now, and I did not have a e.l.f. lip liner, so I'm going to use an old Clinique, and it's called Catrice. said when I when I do my um, my face upstairs in my closet I have everything organized at my dressing table and it's ready to go when I come down here I have to load everything I'm in a different lighting and situation and it is it's 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 a little bit time more time consuming I can just zip through everything when I go up there and I did pick up a elf lipstick and let me find the color this is um, this is a lipstick and it's satin, 
It's satin finish and it's very highly pigmented. Uh, and it is called, this color I chose is Effortless, Effortless. And it has a magnetic closure. And that is the shade, it's called Effortless. And it is e.l.f. So I, that's what I'm going to use today. And I did pick up a gloss to go with it that I've had. Really, it's one of my favorites. And you'll, when you hear the name, you'll know. I'm going to sit up a little bit, see if I can raise my chair just a little bit. My little Tash chair. There we go. There we go. I think we can see better now. I'm sorry about that. Effortless and that color is really pretty with this top and I'm going to use a gloss one of my all-time favorites You've heard me speak of this many 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 times and it's the good old Sparkling rose and I love this lip gloss. I absolutely adore it. It goes with so many colors I'll put a little bit here Concentrating more there, but I think that lipstick is very powder, and I have not tried this, so again, the first time, it's the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder, and it's white, as you can see, it's white, and I'm going to just go over my face with this large powder brush, with my IT Cosmetic Powder Brush, and I'm just going to tap that and hopefully we can get a pretty good setting on everything. And again, that's the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD powder and it is white and it comes in a compact no concealer in the white um, I did have that In like it's actually a foundation. I thought well if that doesn't work I can use that but this is more like a gives you an HD finish and so I'm going to put Put just a tad more I think Brush it down on my neck. I didn't do anything to this hair whatsoever. Nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. And I think that is absolutely... Oh, I got a setting spray. I have my e.l.f., my good old e.l.f. that I've had for a long time. It lasts forever setting mist. So I... I'm going to shake this and I'm going to close my eyes and give myself a mist. Two sprays, and that should do it. And that should keep my makeup set. So I am going to do something to this hair and put on my jewelry, and I will be right back. Okay, my friends, this is the finished look. I went upstairs. I done something to this hair and put on a little bit of jewelry. Um, with this bright top that I have on today, but I really do like this lipstick. It feels good on my lips. It's a satin finish, and I normally, I normally do not wear, I'll have to admit, do not wear e.l.f. lipstick, but I really think I'm going to enjoy this tube. It's called Effortless, and it does have a magnetic cap, and it's perfect with this top. I don't wear this color often, but I really do like that lipstick, and I paired it with 
my little sparkling rose, one of my favorites I've used for years. But anyway, this is the finished look. Everything is e.l.f. except the a couple of products that I showed you. I did not have a lip liner, so I used an old Clinique that I had. And there was something else that I did not, um, the eyeshadow base. The eyeshadow base, um, I used the, um, my all-time favorite, so Urban Decay. That's what I use for the eyeshadow base, and I use my brushes. I used a couple of e.l.f. brushes, but everything will be listed in the description box so you can find any of these. And leave me comments. I would love to have comments on if you like these products, if you have used them, if you can maybe would like to try them. I don't make any money off of this off of these products. These get, were not gifted to me. I went out and bought these at Walmart in various places. Some of these I've had. I've had the concealer. I've had a lot of the contour. Um, half of these, or I, I already had on my dressing table, so I didn't have to buy that many. Um, the little eye, the little um, Love You a Latte eyeshadow, the little neutral, the little bite size, I had that already, so I only had to buy a few products to do this um, video for my friends. So I hope you enjoyed it, and like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know. Let me know. Um, let me know if you like the transformation. I know it looks better to me. I feel better. I just feel super fantastic when I get up and put on my makeup. So I thank you for watching today. And again, if this is your first time stopping by, thank you from the bottom of my heart for stopping by my channel today. And I hope you'll hit the subscribe button uh, if you like the content. And what do I have on today? I just have on this little top. It's like a little flouncy um, little little top here. I'll stand up and let you see what I'm talking about. It's just got a little raglan sleeve there, and it's very cool. It's rayon. Just put on um, a little string of pearls, and nothing new. I've had this little top, oh, I think I bought it back in the spring, and a string of pearls and these little earrings that match. And um, that's basically what I have on. I don't even know the brand of this top. I think I picked it up at, gosh, maybe at Ross or TJ Maxx. I'm not sure, but I love to get little bargains at those two particular stores, but it's not a name brand. But I was skeptical about the color, but I thought, okay, I like it, and I'm going to pick it up. So again, I thank you for watching today. And leave me a comment. Um... And I want to leave you with my favorite words. Go out and make today better than yesterday. And remember that Lee loves you. And I will see you next week, my friends. Um, hope you're having a fantastic week. And I thank you again for watching. And yes, I did get my hair cut. I didn't get an undercut, um, but it's, it's, it's short. And it's growing out. She went a little short. I, I didn't want a total undercut, but she kind of went short in it, you know, and I like it. I like it. It's cool. It's easy to take care of. And yes, my friends that have been asking for a hair tutorial, I will be doing one. It may not be pretty, but it's what I do to fix this. So I will be doing that. So bye-bye, my friends. I'm going to sign off. I will see you next Thursday. And I love you guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.